It's a joy to know the Lord. It's a joy to know her too. Um, I. I just trust the Lord to help us to understand life, you know. I am learning so many things about life, especially since I clocked 60. I started to look and search the scriptures to understand life better than what I've understood about life. And um, I'm going to share from um, one of those uh, rare passages that um, the Lord has spoken to me from. And um, I, I, I just trust the Lord to speak to her and speak to all of us from that passage. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your great mercy of our lives. Thank you for um, your kindness, your goodness, your interest, your investment in our lives. Thank you for, for looking at your daughter. We appreciate you for giving her to our world. She's a gift. Irrespective of whatever anybody might think, say, all of us, we have our low side, we have our high side. Thank you for bringing her into the faith, and thank you for making our, our path to cross. Um, no regret that I've ever met to look at, no regret that we have thrown our hands open to receive her as one of the laboring team with us in Porter's House Christian Mission. Lord, every place where we have major meetings, you've been there just to labor and to labor selflessly. Thank you. Lord, receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, these few minutes, I'm asking that you will please speak to us. Speak to her. Speak to me. Speak to every one of us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I want to read Revelation chapter 16. I'm going to read verses 1 to 7. Um, might be an unusual passage to read for birthday. But God has spoken to me through this passage. Learning life. And learning how to live as a Christian in all situations. Let me start from verse 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went, verse 16, Revelation 16, 16, 16, 1, 6, 1, 6. Revelation 16, I'm reading from verse 1 again now. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. Four, and the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous. O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of, of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. 
And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord, God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgment. Now, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, let me read verse 9 so that you will understand why I've read these verses. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. Lessons of life. <laughs> For Luke, I want you to listen to me very well. Um, this is a personal lesson God taught me as I'm seriously interested in understanding how to live, how to live in all circumstances, in all situations. As we grow older, there are certain things you won't be able to do. There are certain things you think you ought to have done, which you couldn't do anymore. And so I know that as people age, they age most times, even though we say they should age with grace, but many of them age with regret. They age with pain. They age with, um, they age with all kinds of things that will not make them happy because of opportunities missed, lost, so many things that uh, they thought they should have, which they possibly did not have, or they think they will not have. Now, when the voice said to the seven angels to go out and pour God's wrath upon the earth, the second angel and the third angel became a matter for me. The, 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 when the second angel poured his vial upon the sea and it became as the blood of a dead man, it didn't occur to me that God was expecting something. When the third one poured the third vial to rivers and fountains of water and it became blood and everything inside the sea died and people couldn't get water except to drink blood. I didn't know God was expecting something until the angel of the waters. I've said that many times that everything has an angel behind it. The angel whose territory had been invaded and attacked, permits me, it was an angel who attacked the territory of this angel. It's the angel in charge of waters. An angel came and poured something inside the water and they turned to blood and all the creatures inside the sea that this angel of the water had been watching over died. And then I was expecting that angel to say, what's the meaning of this? This is wickedness. This is bad. You know the first thing that angel said, thou art righteous. Thou art righteous, O Lord. So I paused. And I said, so when something bad happened to me, the first thing that God expects from me is to say he is righteous. When something I never expected based on my, permit me, supposed faithfulness and commitment of my faithfulness and righteousness, the first thing I should say is, thou art righteous. He said, these people that are drinking blood now, they deserve it. But before he talked about the reason for which they should drink the blood, first he praised God for God's righteousness. He said, you are, you are right. As we're coming this morning, um, and I was talking about Nigeria, the way when I see how bad our roads are, and I said, praise God. That's why I said, praise God. Thou art righteous. You are righteous. Now, when the fourth angel poured his own vial, and there was, and sun released heat upon the earth, and men were scorched, that they blasphemed the name of God. John wrote and said, they didn't, they blasphemed the name of God who had power over the plagues. And I said, okay, okay. So when the first rot was poured, the second, the third, and the fourth, 
God was expecting that they will glorify him because he has power to stop those things. But instead of glorifying him, they blamed him and they blasphemed him. And the fifth wrath had to come. The sixth had to come. The seventh had to come. Now listen. I have not come here to, to offer you an handkerchief to wipe your tears. <laughs> I've simply come here to tell you that, and that is exactly what many of us have noticed about you, that you love to praise God. So for this situation, please praise him. It is sin for a man to be in a dire situation and he's not praising God. God is right. He was referring to the message yesterday. Look, I tell people now that, look, there is a time of life, there's a time of pilgrimage. And most times God works things out according to the time of life, not according to the time of our pilgrimage. By the time, according to the time of your pilgrimage, you are 40. And somebody will tell you, you can't marry anymore. Or how? Even if you marry. And then they tell you all sorts. Now, God does not relate with your uh, time of pilgrimage. Because, in fact, 40 is not your age. Before you were formed, I knew thee. You have been, nobody can determine your age. By your face and by your date of birth. Am I making sense to you? So, take the biological age out. Look, I have a mate in the secondary school, we're very close friends, okay? When I went to Edo State in May, I tried to locate him. He came to where I was missing because I told you, I got his phone number around that time. And I went to his house, you know, very, very good, very, very good, a very good sportsman. He was limping when I saw him. I said, ah, what happened to you? He said, you remember this in our sport? that I had injury, I told them I haven't having pain, nobody took me serious. I grew with it and now it has become something else. Now one of our mates sent a text to me that he had stroke. Oh God. I was for five, seven minutes. I, I can't understand where I was. I was just disturbed. I said, no, 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 not this man. Why? You know? before I could compose myself. I was in the midst of a lot of work at that time. I've tried to call him, he's not picking. But you see, I just look at it. You, you clock, I'm sure it should be about 62, 60 or slightly above 60, 60, 61, because we're made in secondary school. All right? God has blessed him. He had a house, he, you know. However, um, in that situation, it's very difficult to praise God. But that's what God expects. So what compounds our problem, what, what prolongs our problem is our inability to praise him even when things are tough. God is always right. If you look at, at 40, you are not married. God is right. <laughs> He's righteous. And that righteousness, by the time he comes again in other form, you say, ah, where you will have said, I do not deserve this, you say, you are righteous. When God decides to show you enormous mercy, that people say, ah, it is not for look at what has you said, look, God, you are righteous. People say, I do not deserve it, but I say to you, Lord, you are righteous. Your righteousness, I've done this. He's always righteous. To us, it may look so bad and painful, but it's righteous. And that's how I want all of us to live. That's, that's just lessons for life. That's how to live and you live peacefully. That's how to live and you live thankfully. That's how to live and there's no problem in your heart, no sludge in your heart to block your arteries. And then you have heart failure. David said, let no man heart fail because of this. You don't have to develop heart failure. Just know that the Lord is righteous. People will say, Slow down. Look, curse God and die.
you have blessed him when he blessed you. Now that he has caused you, you cause him to. Job said, ah, ah, you speak like one of the foolish women. Will you receive good from God? Are you not? I remember Joseph in the one man drama, he staged Tony Elder, he said, faith is to receive from God, and faith is also to lose. It's also faith. Yeah, I'm not complaining. It's faith. So, daughter, God is righteous. God is what? He's righteous. He's at 40, I'm not married. God is righteous. 14 years of mine, no child. God is righteous. My disciple maker is older than me. He's still living in a rented house. God is righteous. And when, when, when I went to minister, when the clock, is it 60? I was, I was there to minister. Okay, and he said, I have given out. He said, I don't give. I, he said, I asked God, why do I, somebody is celebrating something and I want to give him card. He said, why would I give card when I can give car? He said, why should I give card? When I can give cars. He said, I have given out cars, maybe 21 or so. See, were you there that day? Okay, maybe 21 cars that he has given as gifts to people. And he's still living in a rented apartment. Me, son, I'm living, I have a house. He had given me a car before. The landover I was using before, he gave it to me as a gift. Now, God is righteous. Do we? What do I say? God is righteous. Pious. What do I say? God is righteous. He's righteous. Vicky. God is righteous. When we when we make him to look as though he's unrighteous, he leaves us in that trouble. I am thinking that that plague will have stopped on number four. But it went on to number seven. Because men on earth, God was bringing those things to them so that they can praise him. If they had praised him, you would have said, oh, thought now that you have, you have known, hey, stop now. He was the one who said to the angel, go and destroy him everywhere. And it was the one who said to the angel, please, e enough. And it stopped. So, God has not hurt you. God has not harmed you. God has not shamed you. God has not disappointed you. God has not frustrated you. God has not irritated you. God is what? Is righteous. And by the time he blesses you more than your expectation, we also come together and say, God is righteous. He's righteous. Keep serving God. Just like Brother Bode said, Keep serving, serving God with all gladness. With all gladness of heart and eventually. And anybody out there that is listening, possibly on social media, God is righteous. Whatever you are going through, God is righteous. His, his judgments are right, faithful and right. You may say, I do not deserve this. Why should God treat me like this? You are the one that is not righteous. <laughs> God is righteous. And I want us to thank him again. Eh? I want us to thank him again. Because that's how to, that's how to, that's how to, that's how to, you will not see anybody in that environment that will say, why? They will all call us Kabiesio. God, you are righteous. God, you are righteous. God, you are righteous. When we go through delays, you are righteous. When we have no money, you are righteous. When we are married and there is no child, you are righteous. God, you are righteous. When we have delayed in getting married, you are righteous. When we preach very strong message and nobody responded to the message, you are righteous. 
When we preach with all of our heart and the brethren are not responding, you are righteous. God, you are righteous. Lesson of life. You are righteous. I will not join men to complain that you have not done well. You are righteous. That verse 9 says, A man was caught with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. Lord, I give you glory. We give you glory here. On behalf of Foluke, we give you glory. For Pius, we give you glory. For Doyen, we give you glory. For Victoria, we give you glory. For Brabode, we give you glory. For Brajaji, we give you glory. For everybody here. Elijah, we give you glory. We give you glory. Over Precious here. Over his father, his wife, his child. Every one of us. Over Porter's House Christian Mission. We give you glory. You are righteous. We wish that Bedford is, is looking well. You are righteous the way it is now. We give you glory. We give you glory. We wish we are covered the heart with the gospel. But here we are. We give you glory. You are righteous. Baba, you are righteous. You are righteous. Your judgments are right. You are faithful. You are righteous. We give you glory. You are righteous. Father, you are righteous. Father, you are righteous. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. For I know that when you bless us, with all that we are asking to bless us with. We are not going to say it's because we prayed. We are not going to say it's because we fasted. We are not going to say it because we have faith. All we are going to say is that you are righteous. Your righteousness has done it. Your righteousness has brought it. Father, we give you glory. I give you glory from my heart. Thank you for who you are. Thank you, Jehovah, thank you. You are righteous. You are righteous. You are righteous. You are righteous. Almighty God. Almighty God. Our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise your come on sing it one more time almighty god almighty god almighty god our generation shall praise your name 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 let's sing it one more time almighty god oh yes almighty god our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise 
Just worship him. Just praise him. Just give him glory. Just give him glory. Repent and give him glory. Repent and give him glory. Repent and give him glory. Lord, I repent for ever accusing you. I repent for keeping quiet when I ought to give you glory. I repent for expressing shock at anything surprising when I ought to say, you are righteous. Father, you are righteous. Lord, you are righteous. 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 When the children of Job died and all his business collapsed, he fell down before you and worshipped you. What a heart. 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 Lord, please receive this worship which we offer you today. And Lord, you have used for Lucas as an occasion for us to contact and to connect with this lesson of life. Please, Lord, receive this worship that we bring on to you as a family, as a mission, as individuals, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord, all we want to say to you today for the 40th birthday of Foluke Adruja is that thou art righteous. And we will stand on that. Your righteousness will bring every other thing that is life, our life needs to fulfill our mandate in life. Thank you, Father. For all other brethren here who are waiting, we have three families represented here waiting for the fruit of the womb. You are righteous. Lord, I'm asking that that righteousness of yours, we righteousness, we in righteousness, bring forth the fruit of the womb for them. Amen. And we're not going to say it is because of their faith. We're not going to say it's because they prayed. We're not going to say it's because they stood. We're not going to say because they are faithful. All we're going to say is, thou art righteous. Thank you, Father. Receive this worship which we offer you profusely from our heart today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have worship.